Hello everyone, I'm Shirley Park from We Learn to Share and this will be my third class on data visualization. So just to start off with, I would just like to briefly go over what we learned during previous classes. So first, I introduced you to the Titanic challenge and the question we had to answer in this challenge specifically was who is most likely to survive? So we looked at various background information on every individuals or passengers who are on board of the Titanic and we looked at multiple features they may have positively or significantly impacted the survival rate, rate or survival risks of these individuals. And then based on these identified features, we would um, distinguish or predict whether that person was likely to survive or not after we create a learning model. So first, let's go to the data visualization file. So what we did here was we imported the library pandas and numpy into our data visualization code and then we ran it so this would mean that we're incorporating all the necessary items or usage files or data frames within these libraries so we're borrowing the skills out of them and then we went to have a competition and then downloaded the data sets and other directories into our saved file and um, written down with this uh, read.csv, so this means that we imported the file into the variable called train data. What we also did is we read the pandas data frame into a table by using the head, and this by this we was a, we were able to visualize what the data frame itself looks like. And after that, we also learned about um, the difference between using the head and just the variable itself, how the visualization demonstration of the data points may vary in regarding of the skills we use. And lastly, we also looked at other key um, skills we could use, like describe or info in ISNO, um, sum, and etc. So for today's class, we're going to look back into the meanings of these specific um, variables and columns and also look at other ways to distinguish certain features from others. And before I move on, I would first like to point out that when you first start your coding and just try to run this one individual file by doing shift enter, that it would give you a name error. And this means that the train um, data is not defined, which we did previously define. So at this moment, you may question yourself, why isn't this cell running? And the problem with this is that you didn't, when you first open your data visualization of coding pack, then the previous cells are not run yet. So you have to go to cells and do run all. This means that you're running all the coding that you did in previous sections and cells. And after wait, few seconds you'll be able to see that the cell has successfully produced an outcome. So this is this was just a basics for those who may be wondering why why your cell doesn't work even if it did previously. So moving on now we want to look at a single um, cell or column which is called or named survived. So if you go to train data and then print only the heads, which refer to the column titles, you will see all these columns and rows referring to um, the trait or feature of an individual, and you will see a column named survived. So at this time, you want to print um, how many values there are in their survived and what kind of what type of values are in there. So to do so, you have to type in train data, which is the name of the data frame, and then the name of the column, which is survived, as you see above. And then you want to um, type period and value counts. And then run the cell, and you'll be able to see the total values that are existent within this specific column in this specific data frame. And this also applies for other columns that you want to see. For example, the P class. Let's look at P class. To do so, 
you again have to type the name of the data frame and then keep class which is the name of the columns and then value counts and now you see all the values that are existing within the p class column in the train data data frame set so these values in the first column would be all the various type of values that are existent within the column and this would be the total number or the, or the count of that value. So this means that there are 491 three um, values in the P class, um, 216 of one in P class and etc. You could try all these kind of um, order commands in for other columns as well so you could do that in your own time. You could also see that it works for things um, of non-number values, for example, in Bart as well. If you just copy paste this and then supplant this to invert, then you'll see this on um, the string file as well. So it's not only applicable to number values.